Number two, remember this, that from God's point of view, whether you believe it or not, because they are your children, listen, you are exactly the mother that they need. That was weak. <laughs> Some of y'all are like, oh, have you met my kids? <laughs> Hear it one more time. I said, from God's point of view, not yours. From God's point of view, you are the exact mother that they need. And you know that's true because God gave them to you. Before they were ever born, God knew the children that you were going to have. He knew the children he was going to place in your care. And sometimes you have got to remember this, especially in this ridiculous culture that we live in, that you don't have to be the perfect mom, whatever that is. You just have to be their mom. You don't have to. Let me set somebody free from that this morning. You don't have to be the perfect mom, whatever that is. All you have to do is be their mom. And that is such a struggle because everywhere we look, there seem to be perfect mothers everywhere. In the pickup line at school, you see them every day. In the pickup line at school with their manicures and their makeup and their chate latte from Starbucks in a custom cup. You get behind them and they've got a clean car and they've got all them stickers. Mom, dad, kid, 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 dog, dog, cat. They've got... Anybody else? I'm preaching from experience now. Most of the time, you drive up in that line looking as ratchet as you've ever looked in your life. That's real life. You didn't... <laughs> That's real life. You didn't brush your teeth, much less your hair. Dark glasses covering the, the bags that are underneath your eyes. Drinking cold coffee from a 10-year-old coffee mug that you grabbed before you ran out of the house. Reminding yourself for the fifth time that you really need to clean this car because you lost two kids on the way to school that morning in the back seat. Remember this, that you are the mother that you need to be.